Thanks, Keith. And Keith is talking about these cruises. They may be a more affordable way to vacation this summer, but they may be costing the environment as well. Brandon Lewis from our National Verified team looks into the environmental impact that cruise ships can have on our oceans. Cruise ships are getting larger every year. Many carry up to 3,000 passengers, and with that many people, you're bound to have a lot of waste. Verify viewer Brandy emailed us to ask if cruise ships dump that waste into the ocean. So let's verify. Our sources are the Environmental Protection Agency, the U.S. Coast Guard, and Elaine Heldevere, Carnival Cruise Line's Sustainability Director. There are several types of waste on cruise ships, like sewage, solid waste, and food scraps, and each has its own disposal method. For example, food scraps are sometimes composted on board. Sewage is usually treated on the ship, and international and domestic laws allow captains to discharge it into the ocean, except in protected areas. Carnival says this usually happens at least 4 to 12 miles from shore, depending on how the waste is treated. Solid waste, like food waste and trash, is offloaded when the ship is docked. In the U.S., the EPA and Coast Guard regulate what gets discharged and where it happens. While they don't keep track of how much waste is disposed by cruise lines, the government does fine operators for not following the law. We reached out to the world's three largest cruise companies about the waste discharged by their ships. Only Carnival responded. Heldevere tells Verify the waste discharged by Carnival meets or exceeds international standards and pointed us to the company's sustainability report. It shows the company lowered the amount of wastewater discharged into the sea before the pandemic and has a goal to build ships that don't discharge into the ocean at all by 2050. So, yes, cruise ships do dump some waste into the ocean, but the process is regulated by international authorities. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis.